Hey everybody, it's William Nayrod here, The Paradise Guy, and today's video is all about rookie mistakes. You know, we were all once new on the island, and being new here, we all made what we call rookie mistakes. Today I'm going to go over those so that when you come here and spend any sort of extended period of time on the island, you've got a head start. So stay tuned. Okay, so rookie mistake number one is running out of gas in your golf cart. Now, it's probably gonna happen whether I tell you about it or not because frankly, these golf carts don't have gas gauges most of the time and it's easy to forget that you need to fill them up on a regular basis, but keep it in mind and what I do is every single Sunday, I make sure to fill my tank whether I need it or not. Okay, rookie mistake number two, running your air conditioning all the time. You know, when we first moved here from the States, we're used to living in houses that are very well air conditioned, nice and cool, all the time. And in the United States, that's not so expensive. Here in Belize, that can be quite expensive. So case in point, when I first moved to Belize, my very first month here, ran the air conditioning all night, all day, kept it at 72 degrees, and after the first month, I got my utility bill, and the utility bill was $1,400 US dollars, that is. And uh, to say I learned my lesson is an understatement. Let's not have you learn the same lesson. When you come here to Belize, run your air conditioning only at night, and maybe only partially during the night, because a lot of these air conditioning units have timers on them. Set the timer so that it runs for a few hours while you're asleep, and then turns itself off. Okay, rookie mistake number three. Rookie mistake number three is going to the grocery store here locally and buying brand name American products. Whether that be Oreos or Kraft macaroni and cheese, or whether that be sun-made raisins, or whether that be Cheerios. I went to the store the other day and I bought my kids some Cheerios. I paid $17.50 for a box of Cheerios, which is an exorbitant amount of money to pay for that product, but after all, it has to be shipped here, duties have to be paid, et cetera, et cetera, and it drives the prices of these products up. So what I'm gonna encourage you to do is when you come here to Belize is to figure out ways to eat that don't force you to buy all these brand name American products that are quite expensive. Okay, rookie mistake number four and that is going out and snorkeling and not wearing a shirt while you're in the water. See, when you're in the water and you're snorkeling, not only are you getting the reflection off the water from the sunlight, you're getting the sun coming down on you from above. So you're getting twofold exposure. And I'm gonna tell you this just from experience, if you do that, you will get a severe sunburn. So when you come here, make sure you've got a swimming shirt, especially if you're gonna go snorkeling. Okay, rookie mistake number five is not checking expiration dates on food in the supermarket. We've all made this mistake who've lived here for any period of time, so you shouldn't be embarrassed if it happens to you, but hopefully you won't suffer the consequences of a belly ache or even worse. Foods in Belize very often will sit on the shelf and the expiration dates will come and they will go. And once they are gone, that food, of course, will not be the best for you to consume anymore. So make sure you're diligent about checking expiration dates. And if you pick up some food in the supermarket and it has no expiration date, make sure you don't buy it. Okay, rookie mistake number six. That's the immigration office up there. Every single month that you're here on the island, you need to go up there and get your passport stamped. This renews your visa for 30 days and allows you to stay legally here in the country. So make sure you don't forget this. We've all done it from time to time, but frankly, if you do it, you're in the country illegally and technically, they could throw you out.
Okay, rookie mistake number seven is coming to Belize and going to work or starting a business without having a work permit. You have to have a work permit here to work, whether that be employed, starting a business, or even volunteering your time. So make sure that you know about this process. Make sure you put in your application. Make sure you know how to expedite the process if necessary and I can certainly give you all that information. If you have any questions about work permits, please hit me up at info at paradiseguy.com and in the subject line, please put work permit. Okay, rookie mistake number eight is running out of pages in your passport. You see a work permit, when they put that in your passport, takes up an entire page. Every single month, they're gonna renew your visa. That's another stamp in your passport. Anytime you leave the country and come back, those are stamps in the passport. So make sure when you come down here of a couple things. Make sure your passport is not within six months of expiration. That could cause a severe hindrance in your travel plans. Secondly, make sure you've got adequate pages in your passport. Now as of 2016, they no longer allow you to buy extra pages and put those in your passport. You have to get a new passport when you run out. So if you've got a passport that's running low on pages or is near expiration, make sure you renew that before you come to Belize. And if you start to get low on pages while you're here, make sure to contact me. I'll put you in contact with the right people so that you can go through the U.S. Embassy here and get that easily renewed. Okay, rookie mistake number nine. That is coming down here to Belize, falling in lust with various properties on the island, and executing a contract to buy a property here without availing yourself of all the opportunities in the market, establishing a relationship with a qualified professional with experience both in this market and in the US or Canadian market, and then making a decision that best meets your objectives. So what I'm saying here is if you're interested in real estate here in Belize, take your time, form the right relationships, learn the market, and then when the time is right, buy your dream property. All right, that brings us to number 10. The number 10 biggest rookie mistake people make when they're here in Belize is they simply fail to contact me before their trip and or schedule an appointment with me once they're here. So make sure you are not that guy. Make sure we're corresponding. Make sure you're sending emails to me, sharing your itinerary, and again, scheduling that all important appointment with me once you're here. I will sit down with you, share all of my knowledge, my experiences, my information, my content, so that you can be successful in achieving your objectives when you're here in Belize. So with that, it's always my privilege and pleasure to help you out, to be your trusted resource, and to help you be most successful here in Belize. My name is William Nayrod. As always, I am the Paradise Guy. We'll see you down here soon. Cheers.